Hi, welcome, my name is Chrissy, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a channeled psychic reading for the 29th of November to the 5th of December. So it's for that week. So if you've tapped on this video, I'm guessing that there's a message that you're needing to receive. Um, so I'll just close my eyes and we'll just get started. <clears throat> now the message and the title for this um, week's reading is Feelings of Despair and Compromise. So it feels like we've had to compromise a lot and this is around everything in our lives. This week is going to be about making compromises. We're going to feel a little bit of despair as well, which kind of, um, to me, highlights kind of that sadness and that little bit of, um, it, it's almost like that little bit of hopelessness. But this week you've got to start to learn to compromise. So this could be compromising um, with work, it could be compromising with family. I feel like getting close to Christmas is going to be a lot of compromising. We're going to have to become much more flexible around family situations. Um, this week, there feels like there's been a bit of a smoke screen, so it's like um, the smoke's been sort of blown up and things are a little bit hidden, but um, the smoke screen, screen's going to actually clear this week, so you're going to start to th see things with a lot more clarity in your life. Um, compromising something that we all have to learn to do, I feel like sometimes we only see things from our own perspective, and I talk about that a lot, but everybody is seeing things from their own perspective, and we've got to be very respectful. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I've just got a bit of hay fever at the moment <laughs> um so we've got to be very respectful of other scenarios as well so that's what the message of compromise is it's just learning to sort of um understand other people's perspectives and that's a very healthy thing to actually do when it comes to getting together with people when it comes to making decisions at the workplace you've got to compromise and you've got to embrace other people's um input and that's really the message um for the week it's getting into um december Now there's a lot of feelings of animosity as well. Um, I've been talking a lot in my past few videos about the anger that's been rising in people. There's also a lot of animosity um, around decisions, around where we've been sort of taken to. I feel like that that journey has not been a straight path and we keep sort of deviating off the path and it's very um, frustrating to a lot of people out there. We feel like we're kind of, it's that definitely one foot, one step forward and like three steps back. It feels like we're kind of, are we moving forward or are we not moving forward? Are we going forward? Are we not going forward? And it's that there's a lot of animosity and, and uncertainty still that is in the vibration this week of the first week of December because we're all sort of wanting to, you know, head towards Christmas with a lot of this freedom and feelings of happiness and joy and we're trying to find that little bit of, um, sorry, sunshine in all of our lives and it's like we're still being sort of held back and I think a lot of that animosity is around those feelings of being sort of held back and not really, it's like not taking off your seatbelt yet. It's like when you pull into the runway and it, in the, at the airport and they say you have to keep your seatbelt on until you actually get to the actual hangar ready to get off onto the terminal rather and that's how it feels to me it feels like we've still got our seatbelts on and we've not been told to unclick them yet so we're still not feeling like we're free to get off this sort of journey or the the plane analogy is what they're using because I think we can all relate to that is we're still feeling like we've got our seatbelts on and we're not quite safe enough to um, to move forward as yet. We're still a little bit of that hesitancy. December's bringing up a lot about programming. Um, there's a lot about programs that are being put out. Um, programs that can help the terminally ill. And I think this could be around a lot of that euthanasia they're going to have programs set up that can help guide these people when they're um, really suffering pain 
um, they might be going through very intense cancer battles with so many health things there's a lot of programs that are being set up now that are going to help these people in that transition of their life and I think we're going to be able to make a lot more of these choices going forward so I feel these programs are kind of being set up and it's around sort of counseling and um, making sure that person's in the right um, headspace and the right frame of mind because these are big decisions that you know these have been things that have been thrown around for a number of years and we want to actually make sure that we're doing the right things by these people but I, I believe that if people are really suffering intense pain that is not quality of life and you know we all should have that choice of um, making that transition if you're exhausted and you're tired and you just want to give up that fight that has to be a personal choice I believe everyone has different opinions about it but I do feel like there's going to be a lot of this program set up to methodically go through the steps to ensure that these people are getting that rite of passage to make that sort of decision themselves so these are heavy subjects they're not light things that'll be coming up in December it's showing like we've all been on this like whirlwind ride it's almost showing like the you know if you've ever been to the the shows here we have the like Royal Easter show and a lot of these big carnivals which you might relate to um, it's like being on one of those rides and we're kind of going up and then down and up and then down or even like spinning around that whirlwind ride where you're standing up I think they call it the gravitron it's kind of showing that energy but now we're kind of getting off that and it's showing that little bit of nausea and and like someone kind of heaving and having a bit of a vomit so it's kind of this energy of like it's almost a bit like the after effects so it's like when you've been on a ride I know I can't go on rides because I get actually sick for the rest of the day some people absolutely love them I know that but this is the energy that I'm getting this week we're gonna have a bit of this it's that last bit of purging I've talked about purging a lot um, in my latest readings and I feel like this is that purging of our sort of last bit of anxiety and emotions and and trying to get back to that place where we feel good because this has been quite a horrible experience for most people and the anxieties and as we can see around the country what's been happening there's a lot of turmoil anxiety fears worries there's kind of a lot of this energy going on and, and that's not comfortable for people to be in for long periods and extended periods of time so I feel like that's the kind of energy this week it's that bleh, it's almost like things have to rise up and bubble out of you it's that purge so it's showing me like the rides and that feeling of that little bit of nausea in the stomach and so you've got to kind of do the things that can literally um, settle your tummy and settle your nerves is kind of the message for the week so you know I, I think of things like you can have a bit of alkalizing powder is really good to settle your gut sometimes um, some people just drink like lemonade and things they're just simple things but if you can have a good burp it's that purging of the like anxieties that can be going on in your stomach so many things can help you you might just go for a run or do something physical as well that can really help you but let those things come out of your body even if you're just talking to someone and you're saying how are you feeling and how now that things are changing and evolving sometimes that's very healthy too so you know don't dismiss going and sort of meeting up with someone whether you go and have a drink at the pub or you go and just have a coffee they're really healthy things to do at this time of some purging but I'm definitely getting that kind of ooh, that nausea kind of feeling of it's the uncertainty I really believe it's a lot about the uncertainty going forward like gosh I hope this is the last time we have to go through all these things and that we're not going to get shut down again and everybody's kind of wanting to get rid of the mask we've sort of had enough we've had it up to here with sort of pretty much everything so I feel like it's that last little bit in the start of December because we're not quite focused on Christmas yet we're still kind of finding our feet so I think that's where it's like after we've got all this sort of analogy of the ride excuse my dog of the ride we, we need to kind of ground ourselves so do a couple of things that are going to make you feel better you know definitely you know I always talk about getting out in nature and just sitting with your pets and and just just being learning to be is so important at these times of sort of I would say transition we're transitioning from the a lot of stress and things that are still going on out there so you've got to kind of find that way to calm your anxieties and your nerves and your fears and the worries and the things that can be going on inside you <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be a really great week heading into December because um, 
there is that little bit of excitement too. Um, so you've got to kind of spur that on as well. So you've got to kind of create that excitement in other people around you too. So sometimes just by talking about the fun and what you're going to do at Christmas and how you're going to create that sort of good vibe, you can actually um, put that onto other people. So it's sort of like that, con it's contagious. So if you start to sort of pretend that you're getting excited about Christmas, other people around you will as well. And you can create that, you can create that fun vibe. You know, I know a lot of people when it comes to Christmas, they um, they design their little Christmas table differently every year and they make it fun. And I know my girlfriend's doing something with stags and this kind of theme and different things. You know, we all have different colors that we use. And maybe sometimes it's time to freshen these things up and make your house fun and put your lights up outside your home at Christmas. Like they're really simple things, but sometimes they can help to change that vibration and, and, and create that feeling of Christmas. Because I think we all have those feelings of our childhood memories of Christmas and that specialness and that, like I said, that that beautiful vibration that Christmas has. It's sort of a magical, you know, it depends where you're living. Some people even have snow at Christmas and it's the, you know, the log fires. And I'm in Australia, so we actually have summer here at Christmas. So it's more about, you know, having fun around the beach and the pools and it's all that sort of outdoor barbecues and things like that. So that's something that you've got to kind of create now because we don't want to stay stuck in these energies of not having fun and not um, enjoying our lives so this week it's definitely time to start to plan these things going forward now look I know that's a bit of a mixed reading for the week you know we go from having you know dealing with programs around people wanting to euthanize <laughs> but you know these are important things too in the world that we need to focus on you know we don't want to get stuck in just everything that's just closing us down so and the other important message obviously was to go and have fun so go and have fun focus on the things that you love and the things that you want to do to create that beautiful Christmas because I think we've all earned um, some happiness and some joy in our lives so think of those memories and and go back to well what did I do at Christmas when I was little did I put the twinkly lights up in the trees or you know what can I do to make this Christmas really fun maybe put some beautiful ribbons on your presents under the tree and make them look really great you know simple things get some new Christmas music doesn't matter what you're doing I know these things are simple but let's go and start enjoying our life and that's what the message is for this week going into December is to start to change get out of the anxious fears worries nervous energies and get that purge that old gunk out of us and let's start moving forward so look i hope that helped you for the first week of december i know um we've certainly all been very challenged like i said i have many other readings on youtube that can help you around self-help if you're feeling really lonely isolated suffering depression or any of these kind of things i also have some on attraction and body language that can help you as well so please go check them out subscribe to my channel hit the like buttons and i will see you in the next prediction reading take care bye